Do you find your dog is so excited at the door that it's hard to actually get out? I am Allegra with The Naked Dog. I am a dog trainer and dog body language expert. And in this video, I have Aero the Street Dog. Aero is a dog that I rescued in Mexico. This is the first day that I had him with me in my home. And this is actual footage of me teaching him the right way to get out the door, which is the calm way. Okay, let's go. So we are going to go for a little walk. This guy seems ready to move a bit. I'm a little bit late in starting the video because I already decided I wanted to go, which is actually like they can tell, I think, when you decide things because your energy, your attention, your, you know, your vibe shifts, shifts, you're starting to get ready. So here, I don't want to change where I was. Um, and I'm going to try to like make it uncomfortable for him to, you know, this isn't playtime and I love how playful he is. I don't think I'm going to get that out of him. So I didn't want to move away, right? That's what so many of us do. Oh, you're fussing with me here. Let me move away. I, I can't do that for our relationship. It's going to affect how he sees me. So, um, instead I adjusted the camera so you could see, I came right back to where I was and I'm just applying repetitive movements when he, um, there, there's something up back there. We'll figure it out later. So, and this is kind of the same thing. Like, Hey, you know, you're, you're, you're a domestic boy now. Um, easy on the genital licking, right? Like there is a normal amount and then there's an excessive amount. So yeah, I've kind of settled down here for the video. He settled down now. But when I started moving around the house, getting ready, he was following me from room to room. I shut a door between us just to have practice doing that. There he was sniffing my leg. So it's just like a twitch that I do, right? And you see just those two twitches, right? And he's, oh, okay, you know, that knee can swing. Maybe I shouldn't put my nose right there. So it's a really, really elegant way to have a conversation. And it's like, oh, what's your problem, Allegra? Like, like, he's just sniffing you. They can, they can smell you from a couple feet away. They can smell you from further than that. Like, to put their nose actually on you is extra. So it's like, just enjoy from where you are. Like, you don't need to come literally sniff me up and down. Okay, so I'm gonna start doing some stuff and then we'll see what he does. Here I have his collar. He just got it today, it's his very first collar. Um, so he doesn't probably know what that means yet, but you know, we'll see. So this is his first time. He doesn't know the ritual and he's doing great laying there. So usually I don't want a dog uh, in a through way, but you remember a couple of videos ago when we first got him, I tethered him here and now he thinks this is his bed. So that was my fault and, and I'll, I'll teach him tomorrow. That's not the best spot. <sighs> Listening to those other dogs is stressing me out a bit. So there, I just took a breath. And this is the interesting thing when you get really tuned in, you can feel how things that I don't expect, right? Like I'm an adult, I checked out the fences, I know that we're safe from those dogs. So it's interesting that like listening to them, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here, okay, good. So I waited long enough, he's starting to get annoyed enough to nibble. Here, right, I'm holding the bottom, I'm holding the top open to do because what I was doing earlier wasn't enough of a deterrent and to be fair he's only nibbling when I'm holding his paws okay so the other thing that I'll do is I'll put their own paw in their mouth if they're mouthy okay he's starting to get uncomfortable right this is <laughs> wow he's dog boy so this is what I wanted and and I wanted to show him like don't put your paws on me so here I am before I stand up and move and change the chapter because I, I want to get out the door I need to plan how I can practice going out the door and then get my telephone, which I want to take with me. So I think I'm just going to do the out the door thing, ask him to come back in the door, which is a good game to play. I do recommend doing that because you don't want a dog who, once you leave the door, they're like, fuck you, we're not going back. So yeah, I'll ask him to, to come back in with me. Okay, another deep breath, right? And like, this is why when I was kneeling, I made the plan because I knew when I got up, right, it, the, the time crunch would be on. Every time I change positions, it's a cue to them. That's their language. So here, this is where I want him. I have a rule. It says no double Ds. So 
So I don't want, I, I don't want the dog um, between me and the door. It always has to be me. Um, so here, doo -doo -doo. so here we are. And I am going to guide him where I want him. <sighs> and this is the place where I do like to use my feet. Because like my hands, I would have to bend down. It would take more time. <sighs> so we have that little moment. Now we're settling. So here we go. I have him where I want him. I'm between him and the door, right? I'm doing some touches, some blocks. Good down. Here, I let go of the leash a little bit too much. I want it to be totally slack and I want to be able to touch him. So usually that sound is where it begins. It's an exciting sound. Oh, you're going to push in. Okay, I close the door. <sighs> so here, I don't want, he's going to learn this. Don't go through my legs. Some people think that's a funny trick. It's not my favorite. Um, it's going to happen probably at a dangerous time when you don't want it to. Like, why are we introducing a between the legs situation? I think actually I'll, I'll uh, preface that by saying um, the problems it, it has are when a dog is not like fully, fully, fully trained when we do it on command. Anyway, here we are again. Oh my gosh. It's a magic door. Whenever you move towards it, it closes. And there I took two steps back in the room. Here I'm doing pulsing pressure. Pulsing, pulsing. Ah, this is his first day on a slip lead. The point of the slip lead is to teach them not to resist the pressure. Just give in to it. So it's okay if he's coughing a little bit and I'm trying to be very gentle. Better. Deep breath for me. Ah, 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 ah. So the first time we do this, it's a really, really, really interesting process. There, stepping into him so he doesn't come between me and the door. Again, that little tremble. So they're stepping into him to block it. Oh, and this is good. I really like it when they turn away because what they're saying is, it's too tempting, it's too tempting, I can't even look at it. So what I want is for them to decide, you know, let me just not even look, because if I look, I know I'm going to try. That is a strategy that they came up with to cope with the temptation. So this is why I have such a hard-on for this door stuff. Like, why do trainers care so much about the door? Because we're literally at home. It's totally quiet. There's nothing going on. I have something he wants, which is thumbs. And, you know, the thumbs get you out the door. So while he's staring intensely at the door, what am I doing? not opening it. You settle down. Hey, let's get back to the store opening thing. So you see how in a way this is dog led training. Whatever he does, that's going to affect what I do. But I kind of make him think it's the opposite. So here the door's a bit more open than last time. Harley's getting roused. She knows, she knows we're close. <laughs> She's so smart. Uh, 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 uh. Oh gosh, it happened again. Okay, so I'm going to try to be a little bit more direct. Era, Era, good boy, you sit. And I should not necessarily be trying this without a treat, so I'm going to rectify that. Okay, so he's making a mistake here, right? And it's our first few hours together, so I haven't set him up for success. So if the corrections aren't working, we're gonna try a little bit of bribery. Sit. Good boy, Arrow. <sighs> I don't wanna open it from a place of tension or hurry. Good boy, good boy. Good boy. Sit. Oh, good sit. Good sit, Arrow. Good boy. A lot of times, good dogs get ignored. Harley is um, sitting back there patiently waiting, so I'm going to pause for something. Okay, sit. So now that we're having a transition point, I'm going back to the door. I'm going to repeat the command he's already doing. Ah, deep breath for me, no tension. Unfortunately, the phone's on the wrong side of the door. Ah, this is a great sit. There we go with a little bit of treats. I got it done. Super happy. We're going to go out, sit again, come back in.
Okay, we're gonna do another trial run for good measure. Wow, look at this sitter over here. Good sit, Arrow. Another one for Harley, who's patiently waiting. Okay. So you can see, for real, the first thing I do is take a deep breath. God, this makes such a big difference. Please, just try it. See if you can try it, and then if you can get into a habit of it, like, game change. I love how he's following my hands. <sighs> okay, deep breath. Good sit. Good sit, Arrow. So we start with the um, handle, and he did great. He stayed in the sit, right? You could see him get, uh, like, distracted, but then he came back because of the treat. Cool. Um, I'll take it. Now, ideally, I want to open the door far enough to where you can, like, wow, there we go, see out of it. Good. He wants the treat more than he wants the door. This is a place for, like, yeah, for street dogs, man. Food really works. Um, okay, we're going to go out and come back in. Good boy. All right, wish us luck on our first outing. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, there's plenty more. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell below to follow along.